we are back with the second segment of uh, fintech ki baat called dhande ki baat and we have with us mr vinith agarwal founder of jira i am sure uh, it's great to have you here again uh thanks for us to be back again thank you uh we had a very interesting first conversation uh earlier today wherein we spoke about your entrepreneurship journeys and your tech careers and from your experience uh thank you for that it was really insightful uh having said that uh we are now into the second segment where we uh, talk a bit more about uh, alternate dimensional class as well as the new wealth tech as a broader category in fintech and uh, how do you see the industry developing and your views and hopefully also we learn in a couple of new things about different investment asset classes and some tips from you ki kis mein invest karna chahiye and i said that uh let's let's start off with a very uh, in a fundamental and basic question uh, about giraffe what's the origin story of the name of the company giraffe right yeah no that's an interesting one actually uh, so uh, you know typically to any startup story when you are setting it up so sora when i kept on discussing ki iska naam kya rakhna hai and uh, you know the one of the first name that we had thought of was actually pi pi because we thought it's like passive in- income and you know passive investment something like that and it's also you know that symbol pi which is like an infinity uh, kind of a number and so we thought ki chalo pi rakhte hain and then when we went and saw ki pi.com uh, we wanted to buy it was the url was itself uh, the domain cost was almost a million dollar okay <laughs> then said ki ye pi to nahi rakh sakte <laughs> okay and then you know what what else can we keep and then we kept on debating and we found an interesting uh, i would say correlation to what we were building with the animal giraffe uh, so like you know in the forest uh, giraffe as an animal they get to eat the best leaves and the best fruits and the leaves and the fruit that they have access to no other animal in the forest has so something similar to that uh, we wanted to bring up or come up with products on our platform which were the best in class and uh, even today like 90 95% of the product that you see on our platform is not anywhere available anywhere else uh, in the country okay it's exclusive to jira so you know that was the vision with which we started and we said ki theek hai and it stands taller than others and you know the yields are high and you know so it could we could correlate a lot to the animal if i have to put it at you know in scott okay. the giraffe is an animal with the forest gets access to the top foliage similarly giraffe as a platform gets you access to the top uh, investment classes or investment assets to invest in oh but i think that's a that's a great uh, philosophy and a great kind of uh, thought process that look kaise soch lete ho aap ye sab cheez aap jo samajh nahi aata matlab when i was trying to figure out a name for the podcast uh, i remember ek do hafta tak was uh, like sagarika and sagarika is a coach uh, basically hum log uh, saath mein soch rahe the kya kya naam rakhe and all that ultimately uh, we were like here we are going to talk you know we talk about fintech to so fintech ki baat kar lete baat kar so we ended up being... no, also one of the th- thing was that you know I, uh, in a long run we wanted that you know people uh, should not uh, be afraid uh, see there is an inhibition once you start using uh, things like i would say money cred uh, you know credit means you know those type of things ki kya hota hai then people might have that perception ki i don't understand this or you know, i uh, i didn't so we wanted to keep a very fun name where you know they should not have that they can come they will we are there to help you understand and sure. then it gives us a bigger umbrella like i would say like an amazon where you can do anything then to okay so same exercise game mm-hmm. rashid we want restrictive enough uh, to do something particular got it no interesting fair enough uh, having said that right uh, just a quick overview of what was a problem statement that that Uh, you essentially wanted to solve for uh, when building giraffe. So I know we spoke about this in the previous segment, but just a quick uh, context. Sure. So see, uh, the the problem statement that we had was that you know uh, we as an Indians we did not have you know opportunity to invest. Well, I would speak about the retail uh, investors and mass affluent category, uh, and I would say people like us who are working. now uh, and uh, people who have basically come from middle class are doing job and have started earning this section of people they did not have anything to invest away from i would say the traditional products like equity mutual fund real estate or gold and what sort of when i we were aware that you know apart from these three there are a lot of other asset classes available in the market 
which are really good less risky and should definitely form part of everyone's portfolio the so main reason i would uh, we saw was three reason one was access uh, you know uh, one was knowledge uh, another was access and another was like information so you know uh, ki uh, there are some people like me who were aware ki aisa product hai but i did not have the means to put the money okay and uh, then there were someone like you who is not even aware of the product then there is third category who is aware and has means but has not has do not have access they don't know ki kiske paas jana hai kaam milta hai you know how to do this so these were the three i would say the problem statement that we figured out uh, right. and you know where we thought you know if the and it would so, be solved uh, by use of technology only and we thought you know if we can build a platform where we are solving for these three which is you know uh, information and access primarily then you, uh, you know there is a scope where you know everybody like us would want to put a portion of their wealth and they should put a portion of their wealth into this we are because the mission Got it. No, I think uh, that is really a great mission to have, and uh, basically getting access to investment in first place in India is a challenge. In uh, I mean, specifically awareness is a challenge. Getting access is not a challenge, but awareness ki kis mein invest karna chahiye and that apprehensiveness is there. Ki gold and FD ke baar agar kisi bhi cheez mein dalna hai, to mera paisa doob jayega. Wo ek awareness issue bollo ya apprehension bollo, a psychology bollo. But that is that is always kind of prevalent amongst at least uh, the middle class and the uh, that that category right i'll give you an example if i might share uh, sure, sure. there is a product which we launched called as treasury bill okay. okay so treasury bill is issued by government of india okay and you will be surprised to find out that if you buy an if you do a 90 day fixed deposit in your bank today okay. in any of the top bank a 90 day fixed deposit will give you close to around 5% kind of a return okay a 90 day treasury bill gives you close to almost 7% kind of a return which is almost 150% more than a fd return almost 140 150% more mm. treasury bill is the safest product for any country because it is issued by the government of that country a fixed deposit also the government says up to 5 lakh rupees i will uh, guarantee it even if the bank defaults to borrow the mm. government guarantees only 5 lakh but treasury bill is 100% guaranteed by the so a product which is safer than an fd and gives more return than an fd now you all of us are not aware of this okay hum log kya karte hain if we have money we will do some fd but a uh, hni ultra hni fm they don't do this they will invest in treasury bill they will invest in gsec which is issued which which is safer and with higher return Okay, now so things like these, okay, are the problem uh, statement that we are trying to solve at all levels of risk. I understand. So, I mean, just brings uh, me to the next question, and I think I'm really curious as well. What are the asset classes that are available on Jiraf, and like, what are the unique asset classes that are available on Jiraf as of now? If I want to go and invest, so. See, Giraffe is that one-stop solution today. Okay, that's the vision with which we started. I would say two years back. The obviously the first product that we launched was a, a unlisted, you know, corporate bond. Basically, if I have to put it. Uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, we started with a corporate bond paper, and then but we were always clear that you know, see, as an investor, uh, you cannot have different platforms uh, to manage different sets of money. Okay, yeah. maybe at scale, you will have two platforms. Maybe something like a zero tha or grow or someone where all your equity related investments are, uh, which is mutual fund shares, uh, you know, uh, domestic shares, international shares. Everything is available in one platform. And maybe there is one platform where all your debt related investment is there, which could be from treasury bill to commercial paper to corporate bond. So that is the vision. And Giraffe is that platform today. If I have to put. So we have more than eight, seven, eight different types of product. Uh, starting from a treasury bill which is the safest asset class to uh, you know top rated commercial papers to top rated corporate bonds to you know short term notes uh, to uh, you know real estate papers uh, to asset leasing paper and at the uh, very end of risk uh, parameter the venture debt papers so from so that a person can then create a meaningful debt portfolio so like in equity you don't buy one share right If if you have invested say ten lakh rupees in equity market, you will at least hold ten fifteen shares because you have created a portfolio. You will buy a Reliance also, you will buy an SME also, you will buy a mid market company average. So you create a portfolio. 
even in debt the same play happens where you create a portfolio you will keep 2 2 lakh rupees in treasury bill which is like an fd product you will keep 2 lakh rupees slightly more riskier you will keep 2 lakh and your portfolio return should be a healthy 12 13% kind of so that's the aim and vision with which we started jirap and i would say we are here today with all the product across the spectrum and across the risk perfect perfect and that sounds wonderful uh having said that right uh given the fact that there is such a lack of awareness in a country like india i think uh it becomes imperative that we kind of uh, reduce the complexity and try to understand the fundamentals of the subject uh, let's kind of you know let's take it up from the top let's start with investing right how would you explain investing as a concept to a 5 year old of kid that's the that's the most difficult question actually <laughs> uh, so, so uh, see uh, I, as a you know uh, i have a 5 year old daughter so uh, and uh, the first thing that i'm doing is explaining her the concept of money okay so you know, uh, that you know this is money something which helps you buy anything that you want okay mm-hmm. and say intuitively you know they understand butter uh, the kids okay that i give you this and you give me that uh, instead of that i'll give you this and you give me that which was the traditional form of exchange now they have started understanding money because they get piggy banks and you know they uh, they use that for purchase so you know how how do you explain investment is that you know uh, the way i explain to her is that uh, if i give her say 5 rupees or 10 rupees and i tell her that uh, you know if you keep this money okay or if you invest this in some other asset classes so suppose you give that me to me and i will put it in a bank and after 10 days or 15 days or 30 days instead of 5 rupees i will give back 6 rupees to you okay so because uh, you have invested in this you are getting something extra other way to do this is that i tell her that you know now like she is going to school so we teach her that you use this say f- uh, 50 rupees to buy some lemons okay and you make a lemonade out of it and you then you can sell the lemonade to your friends and then you know you make this 50 rupees 100 you get extra so those are the basic concept blocks of i would say teachings a 5 year old what an investment or a money is uh, today stony obviously you know they will pick up in which way got it also awesome. you know, i think that is very well said right because at at the age of 5 years old you kind of need to grasp the concept of money first because barter is something that comes intuitively but money is something that needs to be ingrained so no that that's both fit with uh having said that let's uh, you know turn this up a notch uh, let's take the complexity of investments a bit higher and take it to Uh, let's basically try to explain it to someone who's essentially just graduating from 10th standard. How would you explain investing to them? So I would say, uh, uh, by once you are almost 10th standard level, you have you have been exposed to a lot in the world, okay, and uh, you have started understanding money uh, in detail. Okay, you know the importance of money because uh, you have been given, uh, I would say. Uh, you have been given money by the parents as pocket money to spend on various things so you understand that so obviously investment you don't understand by then okay uh, so now for a 10th standard guy uh, you know you have to start explaining him uh, but at at that age you have lot of aspirations okay uh, so you so if you can link money to aspiration uh, and then you explain the concept of investment if i have to explain you suppose if a 10th standard guy wants to buy a ps4 okay So now I'll tell you, dream is to buy PS4. Say next 12 month, your wish is that by next birthday you want a PS4. Okay. Now PS4, suppose you you have collected in your piggy bank almost 10,000 rupees till date. Okay. I give you another 10 to 10,000 rupees, so 20,000 rupees you have today. Now you have an option that you can spend it today. Okay. Or you have an option that you invest this 20,000 rupees so that you get say another 25,000 rupees or 30,000 by next year. and that will help you buy that ps3 or ps4 that you are looking for now there are now you have an option that you should keep it in in a bank which will give you some sort of an interest okay the interest per annum is this so if you keep it and not use it today you can invest it in a fd which is much safer uh, uh, right now and then after a year you get the money back with interest which will help you achieve your that dream of 
PS4 that you have. Okay. okay. So this is the way, uh, you know, I would explain our 10th standard person. Hey, you know, don't use it today, and that also helps them. I would say the concept of saving. Okay, uh, for tomorrow, and investment is nothing but that. Okay, where you invest uh, by, you know, you save by investing. and then you get a return for some future goals basically got it got it so i think this is this is perfect uh, because as you rightly said it as when you are a 15 year old uh, just about to get into college you kind of have a lot of aspirations but linking that to money and kind of making you uh, invest to get that thing giving a slightly lesser amount agar 40000 ki reach hai to 30000 aur wo log ki agle ek saal mein kar dete so Make that thirty k into forty k. Up, figure out where to invest, and they kind of understand it that right. That that makes a lot of sense. Uh, finally, let's let's get it to full throttle. The final uh, the final complexity. Uh, how would you explain uh, investment plus the adding the complexity of alternative invest investment classes of uh, what uh, let's say uh, we can pick any asset that Giraffe is doing. And how would you explain that to, let's say, uh, someone who's just started their professional career and uh, is about to get their first salary tomorrow? Okay. So, see, somebody who is at that level where they have completed their education and are at the start of their professional career, I would say it's uh, slightly simpler to explain them uh, what an alternate investment is because the alternate investment uh, may sound fancy, uh, but is actually very traditional at its core. Okay. Uh, because at the end of the day, what you are doing is that uh, you are basically giving money to someone, okay, and you are saying that you know you give it back to me with certain interest after a period of time, and I will have an underlying security or collateral until that point of time. So loan or debt as a concept is very very age old. It has been there since the time uh, in memorial, right? And everybody understands that. Okay, pesa diya hai. So I need it back with certain interest, and that is the commercial discussion that you. Right. True. So now for, for this le- person, uh, you know, it's very simple. I would maybe I would take the example of uh, leasing as an asset class. Okay. Or uh, where I would say, or I would take an example of simple corporate debt. Actually, okay, the corporate bond or corporate debt is the simplest example. Where I will tell them that uh, you know uh, you can you know that you can give say one lakh rupees. to tata for example and tata will give you uh this 1 lakh rupees back along with interest after say 2 years time uh and until that 2 year you will have certain security in the form of charge on their asset or in the form of uh you know uh some hard collateral uh, that can be given you against that and this is one of the way or form of investment that also can be done apart from uh, fd and saving and buying shares which you already know uh, that you should do mm-hmm. yeah, it's like a loan give direct loan giving to a corporate right so that's the simplest form of alternate investment if i have to put it and then there are a lot of layers to it got it got it no fair enough i think the uh... This is actually as a as an initial stage. I think this will make it a lot of uh, a lot clearer to a person who's just about to get into it. And I think the fact that uh, it is backed by a charge on a certain asset, which can be kind of liquidated and the funds can be paid back, kind of adds an additional layer of uh, safety for the person who's about to invest uh, in this uh, investment classes. Right. Having said that. Um, I would want to slightly digress and uh, talk about a couple of investment classes that you mentioned earlier, uh, right? One is GSEC and one is uh, Treasury bill. So, uh, as someone who has never been introduced to that concept, if you were to explain these two assets to them so that they can uh, be enabled to invest in that assets through your platform, how would you kind of, uh, you know, explain both of these? Uh, so it's very simple again. See, like everybody needs money to grow, right? Huh. Be it an individual, be it company, be it a country. So, like a company, uh, they raise bonds uh, or you know papers to raise money, uh, and they use that money for their growth. Similarly, say India as a country, they also need money. They need to spend money for various activities as a country. Okay. Uh, and then the two ways that they can raise money is one is called as treasury bill, which is short term in nature, 
so right. where short term matlab uh, you know like one day to 365 days is uh, any paper that they issue which is less than 365 day is called treasury bill any paper that they issue which is more than 365 day is all g sir so when there is when so government will tell you ki you know i need money uh, i am uh, say 10000 crore to do infrastructure work across the country and they will uh, i need this money for say 6 month and say 7% is the rate of interest so you buy one paper one paper is 100 rupees okay one treasury bill is 100 rupees so you buy uh, you know one paper uh, out of this and after 6 months i will pay you back along with interest uh, it is issued by government of india uh, it is uh, 100% secured by government of india mm-hmm. and uh, so similarly gsec is a just a long term paper where government is uh, you know using that money for long term uh, you know asset creation of the country person and i think the way you can, the end of way an investor can buy is very simple uh, they just have to come to the platform click on the buy button it's less than 60 seconds it get, it gets credited to your dmat account and uh, on the due date you get the money back from government of india directly oh well, great great so uh, as of now uh, I think uh, what I want to also understand is uh, if, uh, as as a platform, right? Uh, when you try to integrate with all these asset classes onto one single platform, uh, are the APIs essentially available in the market, or you have to kind of do all the tech work around and build those things? Yeah. No, so see, that's I would say that's the most difficult part of I would say building what we are trying to build today because. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, any fintech uh, you know is essentially dependent on the indian banking ecosystem and the services being offered by them is also dependent on the uh, you know apis and the tech capabilities of lot of uh, i would say institution government institutions like bsc and okay so you know clearing corporation etc so obviously uh, you know all the development i would say in the wealth tech space uh, has happened in last couple of years and a uh, lot of tech has been built uh, in this space uh, we still do find lot of challenges uh, you know uh, in integrating with uh, apis for various things there are certain things where apis are still not available okay so you know you you uh, you might have to uh, still do some sort of paperwork uh, to get certain things done uh, with uh, traditional corporates uh but yeah it's an evolving space uh, you know they are also learning that you know uh, uh we need uh, tech is uh, that you you can't ignore tech anymore so uh, uh, it's just the uh, there are certain institutions who are i would say adopting faster than others okay mm-hmm. there are a lot of uh, i would say banking institutions as well uh who are uh, adopting faster than others uh, in rolling out these apis there are a lot of fintech companies uh, who have Uh, they are providing bas as which is banking as a service right where they are becoming this middle layer where uh, where they have already integrated with all these institutions and are providing those services so it's exciting space no indeed i think the uh, last few years and uh, banking as a service and financial uh, eps as a service has been has led to a rise of a lot of startups or companies and actually creating platforms that earlier were simply not possible because those kind of integration is not possible so now i think kudos to all the players working in the segment uh and i have said that uh, how do you uh, kind of uh, look at the investment ecosystem in india as of now what do you think uh, will it take for it to grow to a stage wherein uh, these asset classes uh, that asset classes specifically and other alternate investment asset classes i think leasing is leasing classes are also on the rise right so how do you see the uh, ecosystem evolving to a stage where they are widely uh, invested in by retail consumers uh, like non uh, i would say non connoisseurs uh, kind of people right normal retail customers so see uh, if you look back at the history you know i think we'll get our answers so Uh, I still remember, you know, when I started my career in 2008, you know, 9, 10 era. Uh, just few years back only, mutual fund had started. Okay, mm-hmm. and uh, 2005, 6, motor motor, you know, that is when it started. And uh, at that point of time, if you were to talk to anyone, actually, it was almost uh, impossible to understand how mutual fund operate. Okay, mm-hmm. they did not understand. Are how can you get hundred shares in one, uh, uh, you know, in one basket and call it large corporate? 
एंड देन यू गेट ए यूनिट वैल्यू हाउ टू ये यूनिट वैल्यू निकलता कैसे है ओके एंड सो पीपल वेन डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट वर्क ओके बट वॉट हैपन वॉज दट द फर्स्ट एडोप्टर ऑफ एनी फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इट इज ट्रू ओके इज द इज द अल्ट्रा एच एन आई एन एच एन आई कैटेगरीज बिकॉज दे हैव दैट लेवल ऑफ नॉलेज टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्रोडक्ट एंड दे आर द फर्स्ट एडोप्टर्स देन इट विल परकोलेट टू एच एन आईज देन इट कम्स टू एन इट एंड फॉर ऑल प्रोडक्ट इज द ट्रू इज द सेम इवन एक्विटी वैन इट स्टार्टेड इन इंडिया इन एटीज एंड इट वॉज नॉट रिटेलाइज राइट नॉट एवरीबडी वॉज बाइंग शेयर देन ओनली वेरी फ्यू पीपल इन बॉम्बे फ्यू पीपल इन कैलकाटा इन डेली दे वेर द फर्स्ट आई वुड से बायर्स आई दट बिकॉज दे हैड इन्फॉर्मेशन और दे हैड मनी सर प्लस मनी टू इन्वेस्ट राइट शी सो दैट दे कैन इन्वेस्ट सेम थिंग हैपन विद म्यूचुअल फंड बट इन लास्ट आई वुड से डेकेड और सो म्यूचुअल फंड हैज बिकम अ मेन स्ट्रीम प्रोडक्ट ओके एंड टूडे अ गाय हु हैज स्टार्टेड इज जॉब एंड इज अर्निंग से ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज हैज स्टार्टेड डूइंग फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज का एस आई पी ओके If you ask that guy today also, do you actually understand how mutual fund works? The answer would be no. Okay, he really doesn't understand how that unit value is calculated, how that uh, you know structuring has been done. It is just that the product has become mainstream. Okay, okay. I feel that this sector that we are all trying to build here will also become mainstream in next decade or so. Where today we are asking all these questions, ki you know, ye kaise bana? How did you do the? assessment what is the security what is the pricing what is you know there are thousands questions but in 10 years what will happen is that a product itself will become mainstream okay lot of development will come in the product lot of regulations will come in the product okay uh, and all these things will help the product to become mainstream uh, in the next decade or so so after 10 years again a guy earning 25000 rupees will start putting 500 rupees as an sip or in some mode into alternate investment as if it was a normal perfect perfect well, i think that makes sense right ki uh, early adopters are someone who has the risk taking capacity to lose money or they have the ability to understand the product before anyone else does and take the opportunity there are two different kind of early adopters and i think in this cases there is a mix of both स्पेसिफिकली जब आप देखोगे तो आई मीन एज ऑफ नाउ स्टिल अभी रिटिलाइजेशन चालू हुआ है थोड़ा बहुत बट ओलियर आई थिंक दीज यू आर एक्सक्लूसिवली एक्सेस टू एक्सेसिबल ओनली टू दल्ट्रा एच एन आई दैन नाउ आई थिंक विद द फास्ट प्लेयर्स एंड द बास्ट प्लेयर्स कमिंग टू प्ले इन क्रिएटिंग ए पी आईज आउट ऑफ ऑल द फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स लॉट ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म्स आर एजेंशली कमिंग अप दैट कैन बेसिकली क्रिएट एक्सेस टू सो आई थिंक नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स प्रॉब्लली आर द is a time period jab tak we start penetrating and by the time uh, we are at the turn of the decade we have a lot of uh, what is i mean mutual fund like penetration hopefully yeah and and see technology is helping us yeah so see uh, te- mutual fund did not have that so see in 2010 also if i have to tell we didn't have so many of technology the what we have today right so Dumb- something which took maybe 15 years for mutual fund to achieve mm-hmm. might actually take 7 years for us to achieve yeah, right, right. Uh, so that uh, yeah so that's also you know helping a lot i would say indeed indeed i think that uh, speeds up the pace of adoption as well right absolutely bilkul now i think uh, this has been a really interesting conversation uh, we need to uh, thank you so much for the insightful uh, explanations uh, i think with this we'll draw a close to the second segment of uh, call the day ki baat and we move on to the next round which is the rapid fire round Hello everyone and welcome back to our episode with Mr. Vinay Agarwal founder of Chiraf. Now we are into the last segment of the day which is the rapid fire round. You will be asked anywhere between 6 to 7 questions and you won't get any time to think about it. Just do it. Jo aaya dimag mein first thing this see. All right? Aapne wo movie dekhi hogi uh कुछ कुछ होता है जिसमें वो टीवी पे इंटरव्यू ले रही होती है एंड दे आस्क क्वेश्चंस एंड दे आस्क यू टू आंसर द स्पॉट बस वो ये आंसर सेम ही सेम ही पकड़ लीजिए उसको इन द स्टोरी अ ठीक है सो लेट्स गो फर्स्ट लेट्स बिगिन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज योर फेवरेट बुक अ व्हाट इट टेक्स बाय स्टीव स्कॉसमैन अ व्हाट टाइम डू यू वेक अप 6:30 टू 7 uh what's one thing that kind of uh, helps you disconnect from work uh playing with my daughter 
फेवरेट वेकेशन डेस्टिनेशन बैक एट माई होम इन ओरिसाजर चॉकलेट्स इंडीड सेम वन फेवरेट कोट फेवरेट कोट वुड बी इट इट्स नेवर टू लेट वंस यू रियलाइज इट यू कैन डू इट got it uh how do you measure success for your startup uh, for me success is uh, uh, you know to have happy customers both internally and externally uh, when i say internally it means all the people who are working with us if i see them that they're happy what they are doing and all the external customers yeah, if they like what we are providing i think we are successful Oh, perfect. And I think this is probably the most uh, unique answers, the unique answers I've got uh, till now, and surprisingly so. One of, I mean, mostly, जो मुझे सुनने में आता है, it's like revenue, या profitability, हो गया. A lot of these, yeah, those are byproducts I feel, yes, in life. But, no, but I think this is something that I can align with the most uh, happy customers, and uh, if you have happy customers, बाकी सब चीजें आ जाएंगी. Got it. and how do you measure success personally one minute well uh, for me successful again uh, i have the same philosophy uh, where you create the maximum impact of what you are doing yeah, is uh, when i feel that i will be successful okay and that impact uh, would be if we are really able to change the way what we are trying to build uh, through giraffe uh, the impact would be if we are actually doing something over and above what we are building beat for the society in general because see, there are a lot of indirect benefits of what you are trying to build okay it can create a lot of uh, financial uh, you know you get a lot of money uh, there are a lot of smes msmes which will come up there will be a lot of employment generation that can happen there can be a lot of wealth creation that people can do yeah if indians can invest in products across uh, you know debt products across the world we will get to best of the opportunities and so there is a lot of i would say indirect impact uh, so i would measure my success if uh, you know if i can create that impact uh, in the long run on impact so it would be is how successful the would impact is how we measure your success god and no, i think uh, this is also pretty interesting i personally also have a similar uh, similar value set to when i look at uh, measuring my own success it's more about uh, measuring the impact that i have on a certain sector that i'm passionate about rather than uh, money or anything else so hopefully we reach somewhere there uh so last two questions uh one thing that you regret not doing as a founder I regret not doing as a founder no 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 uh one thing that i would regret it's a difficult question okay let me have to think about this the bits it's, it's <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, see one one thing i would regret is that you know uh, maybe uh, there are certain gaps i would stay still uh, you know in the uh, way we would have set up our team but that's a learning i would not say it's a regret but i would say it's a learning okay uh that you know maybe there are some certain things i would have done 12 months back uh which uh, you know we are implementing right now uh, so it's a constant learning i would say it's i would not word use the word regret actually got it got it fair enough and uh one final question for the day one piece of advice for anyone who wants to start something on their own uh the piece of advice would be uh you know i think you should go for it because i genuinely believe if you are in india today uh, you know we are in the golden time uh, where you know most of the things are going right for us uh, there are hundred things obviously which can be better no doubt about that but i would say there are uh, we are in the best phase of our uh, growth as a country uh, this is the right time you should always experiment if you cannot build your own startup i would strongly recommend you go and work for one okay because at the young age if you are if you are young entrepreneur i would you have to put it okay that's the best learning phase for anyone i tell the, exactly the same thing to everyone in my family uh, even if you have a top job from a top company please leave that work for 5 years for a startup you will learn so much in that uh, you know 3 4 years that you would not learn in 10 years in a large company and you can always go back if you know if you want to work uh, you know there is nothing wrong about it uh, but 
either build or work for somebody who is building something so that is that show sure. i think very very well said uh thank you so much and i think uh, this will be an inspiration for a lot of founders who are listening to this or a lot of people who are aspiring to be a founder so thank you so much for that and it was really a pleasure having you here with me thank you so much for it thanks yes uh, you know you have made me think a lot of things which you know you normally don't think about yeah uh, so uh, the discussion has been you know enriching it up to thank you thank you so much i think that's the impact part that i also try to generate yeah. <laughs> thank you so much no, you are doing a great job and you know a lot of people are listening to your podcast and learning a lot about uh, you know how fintech fintech is impacting a lot of things that we do in india i try to make it reach to a lot of people but let's see we're still a long way to go thank you so much once again all the best Uh, thank you